I was born in New Mexico, but um, I've always had family in the New Orleans area. So um, I've been coming to the city since I was a kid. And I, I fell in love with the city when I was a teenager and kind of always had a plan to move here, but it never came to fruition. And uh, after the storm hit, I almost felt as if I had no choice, kind of. I'm a massage therapist also, and I have some, I'm also trained in polarity therapy, which deals a lot with sort of trauma resolution in the body. And I figured what better place that could use body work like that than some than New Orleans, really. When I moved to New Orleans, I kept meeting burlesque dancers. I was always a dancer growing up. I did ballet and modern African dance, some belly dance. Um, and I, I was doing Pilates, and one of my Pilates instructors was a burlesque dancer. And I worked with a burlesque dancer and then ended up moving in with one. And uh, I began going to the shows and watching them and became a burlesque enthusiast and started loving it. And uh, finally, just one day, I sort of, for a long time and said, God, this is so awesome. I wish I could do this. And finally one day I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna give it a try. I think I'm gonna try and do this. And it uh, has become my passion and I, something that I wanna do for the rest of my life. I met Nona Narcisse through uh, some mutual friends. And I would say after like two weeks of knowing her, we really hit it off and became really good friends. And uh, she decided to form her own burlesque troupe, which was Slow Burn, and they needed an MC. And they asked me to do it. I was a little reluctant at first and told her I'd only do two shows, but I did one show and I was hooked completely. He's my co producer now. So he and I um, organize a troupe and run things, and it's a partnership, an equal partnership now. Well, burlesque sort of really started out as a satire, it was satirical theater, and it was the middle sort of blue collar classes making fun of the upper classes. And it was, at that point in time, it was all men in theater. And then over time it became sort of sexualized and then women were thrown into the, you know, into the equation. And then it sort of reached its height of popularity in the 50s, the 40s, 50s, and 60s really. And then, um, you know, during the 60s and the, the sort of, the love revolution, um, burlesque was kind of lost. Modern day stripping, did kind of come out of burlesque, but um, at one point there was a very, very definitive sort of crossroads where they went two different directions. And in the early 90s, there was a huge revival in burlesque for the sort of nostalgic 50s style, which was still satirical theater, but it was, you know, sexualized and very extravagant costumes and feathers and rhinestones. and. Now that's sort of evolved into many different facets of what's called neo-burlesque. So it's everything from, you know, continuing on the nostalgia of what was happening in the 50s to this sort of um, performance art theater fusion. And, um, you know, there are some much more avant-garde styles, much more sort of classic styles. It's uh, gotten to be a pretty broad range of entertainment, for sure. We all sort of have a repertoire of uh, signature numbers that we do. And then <clears throat> from there, you know, a lot of our shows have themes. So for this in particular, it's pretty simple. Everyone has some Halloween number or something spooky or something like that. So we sort of, we all try and kind of have a cohesive theme and have all of the numbers flow together and stuff like that. So, um, you know, we also perform with bands a lot, with live bands. We do burlesque to live music. and so. Um, you know, a lot of times there when we do a can set, it's just a hodgepodge of burlesque numbers and then burlesque to live music. So it just sort of depends on what you're going for. The number one thing is entertainment value for sure. I mean, are you entertained? Are you going to laugh? Are you going to be surprised? Are you going to be maybe shocked or even sometimes a little offended? Uh, but mostly just are you entertained? And uh, I think for the show to be really good, I think you've either got to see some either really great dancing, I mean technical and smooth and great, or you need to see something that's way over the top and exciting and something you wouldn't normally see somewhere else, or something that is super sexy, I mean just dripping with sex. And that's, if you've got one of those three elements, or if you can surprise me, then great burlesque number, great show. We're available for all types of bookings, you know, film, print, all sorts of private events, you know, festivals, all sorts of things. We have a website at uh, slowburnburlesque.com and we also have a Facebook page and keep up with the social networking and stuff like that, but you can find everything that you need on our website.